Still no accountability from Team Biden. No honesty about just why this went so wrong so fast. Where are the firings? Here with reaction, outnumbered co-host Kaylee McEnany is with us and Ari Fleischer. Ari, I, we're now at the point you even tweeted incoherent, mumbling, bumbling, stumbling. This guy can't get through a, a simple press conference. We've got a problem. If we're now going to be honest. Everybody can see it. The man is a cognitive mess. How does he stay in this job? Well, it's because of our Constitution. Our Constitution doesn't allow us to have these type of elections they do in England when you have a lack of confidence in a leader. We're, we're stuck with the people's choice unless he resigns from office, and then we have Kamala Harris. But the midterm well, we elections the 25th are coming, Amendment. Sean, and that's the America's great... Well, that has to be invoked by the Biden cabinet, so I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, but the midterm elections are America's corrective course for how our democracy speaks. And I think it's highly likely Republicans are going to gain in the House, gain in the Senate. But Biden still is in charge of foreign policy. And that's the problem, because we're subject to his judgment. And I think Eric asked the right question. What has Joe Biden done right? And the answer to that is nothing. Everything he has touched and done has backfired. And that's what the American people are going to have to judge. I was watching a, a Nat Geo 9-11 special last night, and you were on it in that room next to the classroom where President Trump was informed America's under attack. Um, you need a leader at moments like these. Kaylee. Yeah, that's right. Look, I just watched your interview with Mark and Darren, those two gold star dads. My heart goes out to them both. Um, what they said should strike fear in the heart of every American, because what they said at base is this, as they talked about President Biden checking his watch, what that said to me is what I was picking up from a communication standpoint as a former press secretary this week, and that was this. Our commander in chief is not compassionate as he's been billed. He's cruel. He, he's callous. He's not caring. He is callous at base. That is what this man is. I watched his ABC interview with George Stephanopoulos, and he said when asked about Afghans falling off airplanes, that was four or five days ago, he said no one is being killed. This was after many Afghans were killed. We know some of the human remains found in a wheel. And his press secretary, 48 hours prior to the attack, where 13 servicemen lost their lives, said this was a success. And that was after Afghans died. This was after it was known to anyone with common sense that America Americans would be left in this country stranded. This is a, an administration that we have to deal with for the next three plus years. It's horrific because we have a commander in chief, and I'm sad to say this, Sean, it really saddens me to say he simply does not care. Yeah, great commentary, both of you. Thank you, Kaylee. Thank hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.